Hey y'all, welcome back, Barry. Same to you, Milo, good to be back. Okay, let's get right into it. So I know a lot of people have been wondering where we've been, why haven't there been new shows, and it's simple. Nobody was watching this. I know, Milo, but it's good to be back. And who knows, maybe this one will get some views, we'll see. All right, Barry, let's get into it. So we start off here, we're back at the evil villainess's base, and she says to her friend Karen there, that she doesn't like this because she just doesn't know what these guys are doing out there. Right, and then this is where Karen tells her that her brother's smarter than he looks, you know, give him a shot. And then, you know, she pauses for a bit and she reveals that, you know, just in case, she's tracking him on her phone right now. And then the evil villainess is, you know, a little bit confused. How? Especially considering she just said that he's smarter than he looks. And, you know, this is where Karen reveals that she did, in fact, put a tracking device on him. And then Evil Villainous gives her this look, and Karen says, you know, yeah, he's not that smart. Uh, which I found to be a pretty funny moment, and some clever writing, if I must say. It sure was, Milo. And then speaking of clever writing, this next scene, we see that as the girls are laughing it up and having a good time at Rilo's expense, that maybe they're not as smart as they look, because... We have Papa listening to their conversation right now through the computer. He hacked the phone. Pretty incredible. Yeah, Barry, my Papa, he knows a thing or two. Let me just say that. He knows a thing or two about a thing or two. Then we go back to Big Al's and we have my sister Lulu just letting the swim team know, you know, hey, we like mixing it up with you guys, but I mean, we've been standing here. We got to go. And this is where Sneed Sharkashian turns to Milo and says, hey, Milo. And then there's that pause and the intense music, and we're like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? But then he reveals that he just wants to let him know. If Milo and Milo Squad ever needs anything from them, the swim team has their back. What a moment. So then Milo thanks him, and then, you know, after all this nonsense, after all the drama with Gary, Milo just wants to confirm again, like, hey, Gary, are we cool or not? And this is where... Gary gives a little bit of a dramatic pause there, but then yells out, bros for life. Yeah, I was happy about that. And look, uh, I can't really blame Gary for getting mad. He was confused. He might not be the smartest guy in the world, but either way, he was confused. He kept on getting attacked by someone that looks like me. Barry tried telling him that it wasn't me, but you know, it's not like he's automatically gonna take his word. He's been in the hospital multiple times. He's faced a lot of trauma. So I kind of gave him a pass on this whole swim team incident. Let's just put it behind us and move on. So we say our goodbyes, we start walking away, and then of course, Gary has one more thing to say, which is a bit frustrating at this point. We've been here a while, we got stuff to do, we gotta go. Right, and then this is where he tells us, go talk to the horse, I'll text him the info. Which, you know, that could have just been a text. He didn't have to stop us and tell us, but I, look, I appreciate it, I think, you know, that was a nice thing for Gary to do. I think we're officially friends again, and I really am happy about it. I'm happy too, Milo. I've known both of you guys for a long time. Obviously, you're my best friend, but you know, Gary, Gary's a good friend of mine. So I, I'm glad that everything's okay. Me too, Barry. Me too. Thank you to all you once again, and you better believe these next 10 episodes will be out very, very soon. What up, everyone? Okay, here we go. Time for another shortest video on YouTube series, Voice Contest. This one's coming up actually really soon. I did not plan too well. And then there's gonna be more lines in the future. I'm gonna pick one winner for this first line and then probably, I think, three others after that for the rest of the characters for this particular thing. So. Get your voices in soon. Try and just record in a quiet area. If you're under 18, please make sure that you get your parents' permission first. Okay, so the first line of one you'd record is, You got yourself a deal, Rilo. Then just send it over to Milo at HiddenTrackTV.com. Here's the email right there on the screen. It's in the description too. And that's it. Just like that, you can be a character in the shortest video on YouTube series.
Let's go! What up, everyone? All right, I'm happy to announce we have three, that's right, three new winners that are going to be voices in this series. Then we have two more that are also winners. They're just not coming up right away, but that'll be a total of five new voices here. And I promise you there's going to be more soon. So if you didn't win this time, don't worry about it. There's going to be plenty more opportunities. So I just want to congratulate the first three winners are Tara King, Flame Mane, and Damone Cami. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. Sorry. Those are going to be the first three that you're going to see. You're actually going to see them very, very soon. Then the next two winners that are going to be two new characters coming up are Taybrook and, again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, the Diminis Ignis. So congratulations to all of them for winning. But again, there's more than five blurred characters here and there could be more on the way. So again, there's going to be more opportunities. There's going to be more characters needed and... Once again, thank you for all of your entries. Everyone really did a great job. All right, y'all, stay tuned. You're going to be hearing these new characters very soon. Later, y'all. What up, everyone? Okay, the moment you've been waiting for is finally here. It's time for the next round of the shortest video on YouTube series, Voice Contest! The first winner will be voicing this mystery character right here. It's not just a one-line thing. In fact, whoever wins, you better be prepared because you're going to have multiple lines to record right away. But here's the thing. There are actually a whole bunch of other characters coming up besides that. Some really important ones, some side characters, some medium characters, all sorts of different stuff. So if you don't win this, don't worry, because just like last time, I'm going to put aside my top 20 favorites and there are going to be several winners voicing several actual characters in this series. Okay, so just like last time, all you have to do is record the following line, send it to me via email, email it to me. There's always a bunch of questions about this. All you got to do, email it to me at milo at hiddentracktv.com. Be sure to include your YouTube name and if you're under 18, you have to get your parents permission first. And then that's it. One of you is about to be this character that's about to appear as soon as a couple weeks from now. And then several more of you, at least four or five of you, maybe even more, are going to be voices of other characters. All genders are welcome. There's no restrictions. And don't worry if you don't think your voice is going to fit this character because, again, it might fit another one. And if you entered the last one and you didn't make it, or even if you made it to the finals, don't worry. You are allowed to enter again. It's totally fine. Okay, so the first line of one you'd record is... I'd like to discuss payment first. That's it. Record that line however you want to record it. Make sure you're in a quiet place. Make sure you're close to your microphone. Send it to the email. And we're about to have a new cast member. Let's go! First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to all of the previous winners. All of you did such a great job. I'm very happy to have you as part of this story. All right, everyone, the time is finally here. I'm about to announce the next voiceover winner. I'm very sorry for the delay. There's a lot of stuff going on in terms of the production and things are moving very quickly. So this character will be seen very, very soon. Okay, without further ado, the winner and voice of the snake character is William Avery. Congratulations, you did a fantastic job, but I gotta say, there were a lot of other great entries. I already have four in mind that I'm gonna make characters, and there's more than that that are available. So I'm about to show you all of them right now. Leave a comment, let me know what your favorites are. 
If anyone spams, don't worry, I'm gonna catch it. No need for any of that nonsense like last time. Just leave a comment. A couple of those people are gonna be selected. I'm gonna select a few more. And we're gonna have a whole bunch of new characters very soon. I would like to discuss payment first. I'd 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 like to discuss payment first. Hmm, I'd like to discuss payment first. 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 I'd like to discuss the payment first. I would like to discuss payment first. I'd like to discuss payment first. I'd like to discuss payment first. I would like to discuss payment first. I'd like to discuss my payment first. I'd like to discuss payment first. I would like to discuss payment first. I would like to discuss payment first. I'd like to discuss payment first. To everyone who didn't make it, there were hundreds, literally hundreds of entries. So don't take it personally. I had to whittle this down somehow. I had to pick the best ones. If you didn't make it though, there will be another contest soon. This is not the last chance, don't worry. All right, everyone, see you soon. Hey, it's me, Milo the Cat. Okay guys, ask Milo. All these are from the last episode of the After Show. I'm gonna try and answer as many as I can. Is there another person voice acting? Yeah, I am the voice of Milo, Barry, Rilo the Rhino, and Milo's dad. And then I have other people voicing the rest. And then there will be a brand new voice coming very soon who's the second winner of the voice contest. And then definitely more after that too. If you complete the 900 episodes, will there still be more? Yeah, I mean, I, I always say, if people still watch these, then I'm gonna make more than a thousand. Okay, how many powers does Milo have and Lou and Barry have powers? Uh, we're gonna find out. That's a spoiler. No spoilers here. Favorite character other than Milo. That's a tough one. You know what? I'd like to hear all your favorite characters other than Milo because that's a tough one for me. Who are the description gang? Those are the people that read my descriptions every video. And you know what? Once again, shout out to the description gang. Was that actually you? Yes, that was actually me on the subreddit. Uh, whoever created that, that, you guys did a great job, and I will definitely be checking it out more and more. Uh, yes, of course, I accept fan art. I appreciate it, and uh, you can send it to the same email from the voice contest, which is milo at hiddentracktv.com. Milo's dad will be in an episode soon. I'm not exactly sure which one. Let me check my notes here. Um, yeah, soon. Yes, Lulu will absolutely be a co-host in the future. It's just the w it's just the girl who voices her has a very busy schedule, so I just gotta work around her schedule. Lulu wearing the same clothes? Absolutely, that could mean something. We don't know what it means yet, but I'm telling you right now that it's not a coincidence. Who is Rilo? Rilo is the Rhino. We just found out his name recently, the other episode. Can you make a story series? I mean, this is a story series, isn't it? I'm not trying to be a jerk, but come on. What are the new characters in the show gonna be? We are gonna have to just wait and then we will find out. And it's gonna be cool. Yeah, I'd love for this show to be on worldwide television, but I do think that I need at least another 900,000 followers for that to even maybe happen. Okay, everyone, that's all I got for now. Keep the replies coming, keep the questions coming, keep the theories coming, and I will definitely be back soon. Later, y'all. Hey, it's me, Milo the Cat. Ask Milo, episode three, here we go. I posted this comment on the compilation the other day and I'm gonna to respond to as many of the responses that I got right in here. Will there be any other villains? We don't know who are evil. You know what, this is actually a really good question. Most questions are not that good. Uh, yes, there are definitely gonna be some other villains. There's definitely gonna be some twists and turns and there's never gonna stop that. So that's absolutely gonna be on the way. Why are you doing 480p quality videos instead of 1080p or other cool quality? You know what? Because this is different. This isn't the same thing as everyone else. This is something different. You don't have to follow the mold of everyone else. I don't want these YouTube videos to look like every other YouTube video out there. Identical. These are different. 
Maybe get an IRL clip of Milo soon, please. Well, uh, yes, I'll post more, but I literally just posted a new one, I think two days ago. So just check the channel. Will there be more than a thousand episodes? If people are still watching at a thousand, absolutely. I already got ideas for the second part of the story, basically like a season two. And uh, yeah, if people are still watching, I'm gonna still make them. Will there be another miniseries besides Hawk and the Yak and Gamer Boy? Uh, yes, definitely. I have a couple ideas already for those as well. I have a couple friends and colleagues that have ideas too. Actually, if any of you have ideas for shows um, that you maybe want to write, maybe you just want to come up with, you want to be voices on, you can always email me them or leave them in the comments. I'll always check them out. Who's saying I'm just a cat and I'm doing cat stuff in real life? So this was actually one of my closest friends, DT, AKA Dan Taft. Um, he is also the voice of Garrison Gator and he is actually the owner of Barry the Dog. So that's some good trivia right there. Why did he Photoshop that photo so bad? You know, not everyone's great at Photoshop and you know, clearly Rilo, that's not his strong point. Will the horse appear in an episode? Uh, yes, there's definitely a horse character. That's all I'm gonna say because uh, yeah, don't wanna drop any spoilers. Is Milo's mom gonna be in the series? Again, no spoilers. Milo, you have a Discord server? Yes, there is a Discord server. I'm not 100% sure if you could just search for it or not. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video. Are Hawk and the Yak and Gamer Boy gonna be in the series soon? Actually, if you remember, Hawk and the Yak briefly appeared already, but they will absolutely appear again. And Gamer Boy, I don't like dropping spoilers, but yes, he's gonna be in. 938, what's in the window? talking about 938 in the compilation. In that window, it says one third because this was actually episode 333. So we're a third of the way to the end. And um, there's another hidden 33% in there, I believe, uh, that I don't think anyone actually saw. Okay, now this is one of the most annoying comments that I get regularly. Story actually starts at 114. No, it doesn't. It starts at 110. Obviously, I'm the one who came up with the series. Obviously, I know when it starts. That's when it starts. And now let's end with by far the most annoying comment. Is Milo still alive? Yeah, you understand that I can't answer this a million times over. Yes, he's alive. He's an old cat. What do you guys want from me? How many times do I have to answer this? So that's it, you could stop asking. But any other actual questions, any other info about the series, anything like that. I'm gonna pin a thread on here, respond to that, and we'll get the next episode of this Ask Milo out soon. All right, everyone. Later, y'all. Hey, it's me, Milo the Cat. Ask Milo, episode four. Here we go. I pinned this comment in a video the other day, and let's answer some of these questions. Would you be up for being a voice actor in other people's projects or shows? Actually, yeah, you know what? If it's a small little part, if it's a small role, I got you. No problem. Email me, milo at hiddentracktv.com, the usual email. I'll help you out. Say who's voice acting Lulu, Garrison, Rilo, Purple Villainous, Barry Barkley. Okay, Lulu and the Purple Villainous are unnamed voice actors. Uh, their names will be revealed eventually. Garrison is voiced by Dan Taft. And then Rilo, Barry, and Barkley are all voiced by me, Milo, the same one that does Milo. Is the thousandth episode gonna be an end or if people still enjoying the series, you're gonna change the last part of the story to go for 2000. I think thousandth episode is gonna be the end of this story, but if people are still watching, it's basically then gonna pick right back up with the same characters in the same situation into the next story. That's if everyone's still watching. If not, goodbye forever. Kidding. You know the end of the story? I just wanna know this. Yes, I'm the one writing this stuff. Do you guys understand that? Yes, I know the end of the story. Will there be a Rilo's sis and a Rilo's boss emojis? Rilo's boss emojis are already in there. Um, I need two more members, I think, to unlock the next emoji. And then the way YouTube has it is every 10 members after that, you unlock a new emoji. Why did Biddy say he's a fan and then try to attack Milo? Well, because clearly because he was lying, you know? <laughs> that's, that's why. When will you be revealing the second round contest winners? Good question, they're actually coming very soon. It's actually just taking a long time because I got so many entries and there are so many new characters that I need to fill. I'm picking a bunch before I even make an announcement because these characters are coming up quick, but then the voting is gonna go live. Should be, I'm hoping soon. I'm hoping within the next couple days to next week. I'm gonna work on it soon, I promise you. How epic will the future of the series be? It's gonna be very epic. I mean, you have to understand, 
we're part 410 only. We're not even halfway through the story yet. We still haven't met all the characters yet. We still haven't seen all the powers yet. There's so much stuff to happen. When was Lulu born? Day, month, and year. She was born a couple hours before Milo was born. They're fraternal twins, and she is slightly older by only a couple hours, and uh, their birthday was October 8th, 2006. And the second one, no comment, no spoilers. What was Milo like as a kitten? He was pretty cool. Here's a picture of him right here. He's basically been a cool cat since the day he was born, which is why, you know, he eventually became the coolest cat on the internet. And he still is. What is the evil villainess's animal identity and real name? Those are both spoilers. They're not revealed yet for a reason, but absolutely we are gonna find them out. Who is Milo's mom and why have we never seen her and what happened to her? And then Stupid Animations responds with, I think that's coming up in a future episode. Correct, that's another spoiler. I'm not dropping any spoilers in here. Why are you not making zero second videos anymore? Because this is a whole story now. If I were to do this in zero second increments still, the story would be, already, it would already be over. It would go nowhere. There's a lot of stuff going on. These are still very short videos, the shortest videos around. So it's just gonna go a little longer. And you know what? The important episodes, they're gonna have to be longer. That's just the way that it goes. When will Gamer Boy 696969 be in the SVOY series? Actually, soon. We're not gonna hear him quite yet, but we will see him, and that will happen soon. All right, thanks to everyone for submitting. I'm gonna do this again soon, so I'm gonna pin another comment thread on the top of this video. Leave your questions in there, and we'll make it happen. All right, later, y'all. Hey, it's me, Milo the Cat. Okay, time to answer some questions. Okay, so for starters, yeah, this was referring to the after show. The after show is not really gonna be a Q&A type of series. We'll answer some questions, but it's more of a discussion type series of just the events that took place in the actual series. Yes, Milo has a sister. Her name is Lulu the Cat. You know, because I just kind of like doing my own thing and I like the nostalgia, I like the old feel of old YouTube, but also like, you know, I don't want to be like everyone else. This is just its own different thing. See, this guy gets it. Hmm. Okay, you might be onto something there. No spoilers yet, but you might be onto something there. You know what, actually, the views on these things are not dropping, they're rising, and I feel really good that the series continues to rise, and uh, you know, the old videos, you gotta figure, were up there for 10 years and took a long time to get those amount of views, so I can see already that when I initially upload these, these are definitely getting more views. You know, the original inspiration, it was just kind of like a joke kind of thing. And I made one and then I made part two and then I made it up to part 14. And really, uh, you know, the reason why I, I know a lot of people ask this, the reason why I came back is so many people were leaving great comments and inspiring me and I really appreciated it. So I just started making them again. And so, you know, I, I figure if it makes you happy, it makes me really happy. So uh, if people are enjoying watching them, um, it's just as much as I'm enjoying making them. Yes, this is the new emoji. That's the Milo's father emoji that is available to channel members. Now, you know, as I've said, it's not necessary, but I want to give a big shout out to my channel members here. You know, speaking of inspiration, that's part of it too. You know, people that go the extra mile for me like this, it's greatly appreciated. And to continue, comments like this too. I, I read these comments. I read all the comments. I try and reply when I can, but you know, comments like this, they just make my day and I thrive on positive reinforcement. So this type of stuff just helps me make the next five videos. You know what? It's absolutely possible. No spoilers, but we have definitely not seen everything that Milo is capable of yet. After I hit a thousand, if people are still watching, if people are still enjoying it, we are going to 2000. Hey, it's me, Milo the Cat. So I now have three levels of membership for you to join the channel. Listen, you don't have to join. I'm not saying it's necessary, but if you do, you get these extra perks and stuff. If you don't, you're still gonna see all the videos and all this stuff, so don't worry about it. But, just wanna go over these memberships real quick. Basically, the Milo Bronze opens up these loyalty badges, it gives you custom emojis, and then, like, it gives a priority reply to comments. The Silver will give you early access to videos and then some member shoutouts. And then there's the Milo Gold, where you'll have access to all the previous perks, and then 
an exclusive members only video every single month only seen by the gold members. So those are the three perks. As many of you have already noticed, I changed my channel name to Milo the Cat because I wanted to change it to that 10 years ago and you weren't allowed to back then. So you know what? The other name didn't make any sense anymore. That's who I am. It's me. It's Milo. All right. So just wanted to introduce this. Stay tuned for the shortest video on YouTube series. And I have so many new ones coming up. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Okay, Milo out. Thank you to all you once again, and you better believe these next 10 episodes will be out very, very soon.